Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome back to my station. I want to thank you so much for your support during 2023, and I'm looking forward to sharing the new year with you. I have finally finished this journal that I've been working on for a while. I did take some time off. My family came to visit my daughter and son-in-law, and two grandbabies came for a couple weeks, so I've been very busy, like I'm sure you all were over the holidays. Uh, but I did get this finished and if you missed some of the uh, places where I've showed you details of how I put some of these things together such as this uh, lovely spine I'm going to list the playlist down below so that you can catch up with that but this is going to be a flip through then of this journal it has uh, a hard cover uh, the, the front and back cover are hard but the spine is made out of cloth and as you can see, it's all this lovely layered cloth with these vintage large buttons in the back and some lace down here on the side. And this is an authentic uh, photo uh, of this lovely lady. And I added some beads down here, just a few beads from a necklace and some lace on the bottom. And it is together with a tie. It measures six across and eight and a half inches tall and about two and a half inches wide. So we'll get started here on the inside. Let me raise this camera up a little bit. There, I think that's better. It has lots of cloth uh, ephemera and decorations on the inside. This is, uh, these, this is a digital photo, but it's very cute. These little uh, sisters. I have this watercolor paper and there's watercolor paper that encloses each of the three signatures and some of them I left blank and some of them I kind of gave uh, a collage with a uh, gesso wash so that it would give you a little background to start doing something or if you just wanted to write on there that'd be great too. Here's a little, um, uh, I forgot what these are called, these little tags and here's some cloth and I showed you how I made these little cloth snippets. And this is an old photograph. It's not ancient, ancient. It's uh, it's probably from the 70s, I think. But I love the picture. It's got a horse and cart on there. And uh, this is another little digital card. And here, this is an authentic uh, original envelope from 1899. And I love that you would you were able to just put the person's name and the city and the state they lived in. And it got there. <laughs> Isn't that incredible? It did not have a letter, um, but I added a digital letter here on some tea stain paper to kind of make it look pretty authentic uh, for that period. This bingo card here in the back is also from the early 1900s. I believe the game on the, the box, I got a whole box with a game of bingo, and I believe it was like 1930 was on that um, box. And this is a pocket here. And I've stenciled some of these tea stained papers I have, and here is some crinkled up paper. Lots of textures in this uh, journal. Here's a pretty piece of lace, some digital paper, and here's the bag with a digital folder advertisement. And I stuck that inside the bag, and another digital photo with some fabric and some lace here on the bottom. And a little tag stuck inside there and clipped inside here with a rusty paper clip and I think I've used these uh, paper clips throughout is an altered tag the forward tag you can write here on the inside but here on the outside is a, a lovely tag that just flips over the page and you can of course move these around to where you would like them to be Another one of those really fun photos, an old uh, Midwestern town scene. And here's a little, this little photo. It's, uh, but you can do uh, little pockets here. You can do some uh, journaling inside that. So I'll stick that there. Some watercolor paper. Here's another pocket. This is a, an authentic vintage receipt. Um, this is pretty old. This is from the 70s, I believe. And this... It's an old, old letter, and it has a recipe. Uh, well, it says on here, it says, Goodwin's Best Apple Butter. So she tells you how to uh, prepare the butter, uh, apple butter, inside here. And it's, uh, be good little girl. <laughs> Dear little girl, it's so cute. 
so cute. I don't know who she was writing to, but um, it's a recipe for apple butter. And so that gets stuck here inside this pocket that has some um, lace and uh, flower ephemera, the lace on the side, another watercolor spot, another digital photograph. And this is some uh, digital lace paper. It looks really beautiful. More stenciling. Here is an altered bag. And I've made in here a little booklet that you can write some little notations inside if you would like. And in the back here is an authentic um, uh, book page from an old book. Uh, pretty old. And I, I'm trying to remember the date on that one, but it's, it is definitely like um, 30s or 40s. That's stuck inside there. And this is a diagram for painting, of course, and more tea stained paper. And I thought this would be a nice place to put a photograph or just do some writing in. And a little pocket over here. And I've slipped in just a blank piece of uh, tea stained paper for you to make notations on. And in the back here is a little bookmark that you can use if you would like. And I forgot, uh, in the middle of the signatures, I have uh, beads. And here I have my little Inky Owl charm on it. But I do have, uh, even in the other the other signature, da -da -da -dun. I have some more uh, beads here uh, that kind of match the beads there on the front. And this, uh, whoops. Here is a glassine back, and inside is a combination of authentic vintage tickets along the digital ephemera. I think these are the uh, authentic uh, tickets there, and then digital ephemera that you can use to decorate as you journal inside here. This is a really cute little baby photograph with some cloth here on the bottom. This is a digital photo. And some more of that um, watercolor paper. Here is a, something you could write, maybe title the signature if you'd like to. Anyone who keeps the ability to see beauty never grows old. A glassine bag here that's been dyed. Oops. A little bit of blue there. And then we have a tag that slipped here in the back with some collaging here in front and a doily you can stamp on this doily uh, as well if you'd like to decorate it up here's a waxed beeswax envelope and i have inside a digital piece of paper for journaling with more stenciling this is an authentic piece of ledger paper, and I think this was from uh, the early 1900s. Here is uh, some tracing paper that's been printed on. Lovely little beautiful collage there. Some writing. A um, pocket with an old library card. Mm, I remember those days. Here's a quote uh, from a little uh, uh, Helen Steiner Rice. And here behind that is a tag. And I'll slip that inside there with some lace. Some of these pages have been doubled and sewn together, so it's a nice sturdy surface to do some things with. Here are some authentic uh, 19, early 1900s a flinch card game piece. And um, mm, I forgot the name of this game. But these are cards from that period. And here are... The S and H stamps. I remember my mother uh, saving these up and getting stuff. That was kind of fun to find that along the way. Here's another altered tag. It's a beautiful digital photo and a little bit of cloth. Nice little lace and uh, on the back end of it just flips over any page that you would like, of course. And here is the other piece of that uh, 
tracing paper and ledger paper. It's oily. And here is a flip out envelope. And we have here uh, an old postcard. And I uh, don't know what the date is. It's quite, this is quite old. It's a one cent stamp. So yeah, it's pretty old. And then this is a uh, another place here. This is a frame. And so there is a tag here that you can use to write on, or you can put your own photo in here and uh, slip it inside this frame area. The last page has a cloth with some buttons. And here are some uh, combination of vintage papers. Uh, from books and uh, this is a foreign language page. These are most of these are from vintage books and these are just little bits and pieces. So all these things can you can use in your um, decorating and then of course a pocket here in the back to store some of your favorite things. So that is the journal. Thank you so much for viewing and this will be available in my Etsy shop and so I am working on a second project and I should be with that in a few days and hope to see you then. You have a great and crafty day. Bye!